What up, what up? It's Bowie Radley. I just want to say that, man oh man, has hustling became easier than ever. I remember back in the day when, you know, if you wanted to hustle, you had to be boots on the ground. We had to sit outside that, uh, that beauty supply store all day and all night selling them bootleg CDs and DVDs. That was hard work. But now, you can sell music and all types of stuff on the internet from the comforts of your home. You don't have to leave home to peddle your products and services anymore. And it's not as intrusive. See, back then it was almost like loitering in a sense. Every time somebody's... Like if you ever at a gas station and do walk up on you, or as you're going into the gas station, can I pump your gas, miss? Can I pump your gas, miss? You know what I'm saying? Or uh, can I pump your gas, sir? Pump your gas, sir? You know, don't nobody want to be bothered. <laughs> or, the, or the dudes that be selling CDs and stuff at the gas station, like uh, out in k there was a speedway, and we would see this dude hustling mixtapes and stuff outside the speedway. People going in and coming out. Or imagine um, the people that be asking for spare change outside the gas station. Spare change, miss. Spare change, sir. You know what? A couple weeks back, um, I went to a liquor store, and a guy was outside, you know, I'm like, uh, what's up, man? What you need? Uh, I thought he wanted a spare change. No, bro wanted like a little small thing of liquor to drink. At least he was honest. <laughs> I, I got it for him. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I try to be a good dude. I got it for him. You know, but uh, it's a bit more intrusive, you know. But now, from the comforts of the internet, you basically doing the same thing minus the invasion of one space or feeling like you're being a bother because you're just running internet ads. They're on the internet anyway, you know, so now they can be hit with your materials without you actually having a step to them. So if you think about it, see back then, you had to have somewhat of an extrovertedness to you in order to be boots on the ground and running up on people or waiting for them to come up to you and pedal whatever you're selling to them. Now, you don't even necessarily have to be so personable. You can sit on the internet, set up your materials that you want to run, set up where you want to send people that click on your link, and you're basically running business like that, you know? You got marketing, you got advertising. Marketing is what makes your brand, your products and services different than the competitions. How do you separate yourself from your competitors? Advertising, hi, I am a brand, I exist, I'm here. And if you like my marketing, then come shop with me, fam. Simple as that. So, yeah. And then if you're an introvert and you're running a business, you're selling products, services, whatever. Hell, you could even, if you want to, if you really don't want to, you know, be associated with it, you could even hire you like a Billy Mays type. Hire you some charismatic person to get on the camera for you and to market and do that for your product. Like, I don't know how many people remember the Everest commercial back in the day. You sitting at home anyway. You're not doing anything with your life. Use this opportunity to turn your life around. Call Everest. Come get your degree. What do you do? You're sitting at home watching the television all day. You're talking on the phone all day. Don't you want to change your life around? You know what I'm saying? Some energetic type person like that. You can use them to push whatever it is you're trying to sell to the people. There's so many ways down. And I'm... I'm starting to realize it and the more I ponder on this stuff the more creative I get on how I can 
better push, you know, products and services on people. It's it's fun. It's fun and it's interesting because I'm all I'm all about trying to make some money. Minimal effort too. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You mean to tell me I can sit on the internet and potentially get paid for it? I'm all ears. I'm I'm all ears. I'm all ears. Yeah. If you think about it, and it dawned on me, well, I mean, I kind of already knew this, but I feel like a lot of people don't, or they don't seem like they do. The money is where the people are. The money is where the people are. Where the people are is where the money is. So if we look at how marketing and advertising has developed and evolved it makes sense you know um back in the day families would sit around the television after dinner or whatever and they watch tv the same times across the country every day monday through friday all day on saturday right so guess what? What people would do is they would run commercials on television. That's how they get you because they know all of these people across the country are sitting around this television being entertained. And then, you know, every couple minutes, your favorite show or whatever would take a quick break so that they could run those commercials. These brands, these products and services are paying these television stations in order to be able to run their advertisements to all these viewers in order to secure business. You see. Same with the radio. Every morning, all these people are commuting to work. Every afternoon, all these people are commuting home from work. Uh, radio package, whatever advertising from the radio station, promote your uh, materials to the people on the radio. Now, as of these days, that's a little bit harder to. Um, I'm sure radio has witnessed a decline to an extent of listener base because now we have interactive uh, methods of listening to music and whatever you want to listen to. You can. You know, you can listen to podcasts, you can stream music, CDs, all different reasons why the radio business has seen a bit of a decline in its stronghold on, say, the music business as a whole and advertising. It's because people, these phones are so powerful now that they, they're like many computers in the palm of our hands. And people have much more <clears throat> freedom of choice in what they want to be exposed to. You could be riding in your car or sitting at home streaming music of your choice that you want to listen to instead of what the radio has got you listening to. You can be on your phone watching TV instead of what the TV is um, put, you know, putting in front of you. You know, people can choose what they want to listen to and what they want to see now. <clears throat> And that takes a lot of the power away from television and radio. So now the power is on the Internet because the Internet is what's housing these freedom of choice, you know, mediums. So now that's where somebody like me that's trying to get some money off the Internet. I set up me an ad and I run it on the Internet. So now in the middle of you on YouTube, your favorite songs that 15 second ad that you can't skip, that you hate it because you can't skip it. That that's me. That that's me trying to sell you something. That's yeah, that's me. Trying to sell you something. That little panel off to the side that if you click on it it'll take you away from whatever site you was on. That's me. I'm trying to get you to click on my link. You see? <clears throat> 
So yeah, hustling. Hustling is easier than ever now. We ain't got to necessarily be all out on the ground. I mean, you can still do that if you want. I mean, that's an extra way to get your stuff out there. But I, I don't feel like doing all that. I did that already. When I was a kid, I did that. I'm trying to sit on the internet now. I'm trying to press a couple buttons, run my payment method, and then let it do what it do, and then look at the numbers that they roll in. The evolution of hustling from the streets to the internet. <laughs>